Hi y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Little Ways, Little Things. Today I am going to give you my Halloween home tour and we're starting outside where we are proudly flying our Astros flag and hoping for a little luck in the playoffs. Anyway, this is my front porch and I like my welcome mat this year because I'm trying that layering effect that everyone is doing by putting the buffalo plaid mat down first and then topping it off with just a regular grass mat that has a tree on it. I think it's really cute. My front door has a really cute fall wreath on it and I have this same little cat that I put by my door every Halloween. I got it from a thrift store. I also got this cute metal pumpkin in Nashville, Indiana and brought it all the way home. Let's go inside and see what I've got going on in there. I'm standing just inside of the front door and on the floor here I have a little sign that says farmhouse pumpkins and I got it from Big Lots last year. I put it in front of a wooden dough bowl with some pumpkins and some string lights just because at night I think it's so cute it looks like a little pumpkin stand that you might see on the side of the road in the fall. Here's a little ghost. I made him a long long time ago. He's waiting to go out trick-or-treating. Here's the dining room. I'm still using buffalo plaid in a lot of my decorating and I hope that's a trend that stays around for a while because I have a lot of buffalo plaid. Last year I was trying to do a lot of the muted colors but this year I did go back and put in some more of the traditional darker oranges and that type of colors. These pumpkins came from home interior like 15 years ago, I don't know, maybe even 20. One was my mom's and one was mine, and we just love to use them all through the fall. Here's some buffalo plaid chargers from Hobby Lobby. I believe that table runner also came from Hobby Lobby. There is this cute little tea cart that I got from my grandmother, and I put my kind of Edgar Allan Poe type decorations on there. I will link my mantle video to the end of this one. If you want to go back, you can see the video where we kind of did two mantle styles and that was one of them. I do keep a vacuum cleaner in here just in case of spills. All right, this is a little bookshelf that's in the corner of the room. Let's take a look at that have just styled each one of the shelves with some fun Halloween items. I think that's kind of cute. All right, let's move into the living room next. This is our living room. And I have to say, I'll have to introduce you to Riley. That's Riley. She is from the Houston Boxer Rescue. And we uh, adopted her about two weeks ago. And she is just the sweetest thing. We love her so much. She's just fitting right in with our family. All right, on the table here, have a little mud pie candy dish. Kind of some more fall type decorations. These are kind of left over from last year when I was trying to do the more muted colors, but I'm just kind of mixing everything up this year. That's a pie table or a pie crust table. I'm not sure which exactly it's called, but it also came from my grandmother's house and I just think all that Halloween stuff looks so cute on there. Here is you might recognize that sweater pumpkin from one of my videos earlier this fall. And here's my cute little cemetery. Now I'm in the kitchen and this is kind of an overview of the back wall. It's got the sink on it. That fresh baked pumpkin pie sign came from Big Lots last year. I think the green pumpkin came from Dollar Tree and I've had that witch forever and forever. This is my coffee bar. It's got some straws for stirring and some Trader Joe's pumpkin spice coffee. 
and actually the sugar and creamer set um, came from my husband's grandmother many many years ago and I really love this hobnail milk glass I think is what it's called I love that such cool stuff I just have a few pieces there we go All right, here's the stove, and I just have all my utensils in one of these big Halloween bowls. Some garlic. have to keep the vampires away. Then there's my Instant Pot and a really fun night light. Just a grove pail full of apples and caramel corn. That's the corner. Let's Bake Pie. Some of my friends from work gave me that. It's so cute. That's the breakfast area, and I love this little pumpkin on top of the table. He was kind of too small for the table, so I turned a Halloween bowl upside down, and now he's sitting on that. Let me give you a better view of these recessed shelves. Okay, so this little breakfast area has two sides with recessed shelves, and this is the one side. On the bottom shelf, I have that little scale, which is from Joanna Gaines's line at Target, and just a lot of our regular teapots that we normally keep up there. That apple cider tin came from Hobby Lobby last year, and there's just a lot of cute fall things on there. Let's look at the other side. Coming around to the recessed shelves on this side, we have a couple of cute things. There's just our regular teapots at the top, but there is um, some cute trick-or-treat things that all came from Michael's a couple years ago. That's my Bigfoot teapot. If you've seen other home tours, you know that he's not seasonal. He stays there all the time. I love this tin that I got from Waco when I went to the Magnolia Market. It says Magnolia Farms and I just have some magnolia leaves and a pumpkin in it. Coming out of the breakfast nook, we come into the den and I have this sofa table with this really cute spider table runner on it. And of course I have a three-tiered tray, all designed for Halloween. I'm gonna give you a close-up of that. I have lots of videos that are about three-tiered trays on my channel if you want to go back and look at the playlist. There is a bunch of them. There's a little wagon in there. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little wagon with some pumpkins, a spider, a really, really cute Frankenstein votive holder. The second tier has some succulents. Another cute, a Frankenstein's Bride little votive candle holder that matches that one. I just think they're so cute. And then the top tier, my favorite little mouse that I like to get out at Halloween. He is so cute. All right, coming around to the other side. Anywhere, you can see that anywhere there was a space or some of the tray was showing, I just put filler in and I use moss and little tiny pumpkins. There is a pumpkin votive holder, cute little witch. It says if the broom fits, fly it. I think that's so funny. All right, so that's kind of the back of the tray. Hope I'm not getting you too dizzy. All right. So that's kind of how that looks. That's our turtle, Pete. All right, on this side of the room, just have the Bath and Body Works candle going. I'll have to check and see which scent that is, but I think it's pumpkin. There's the blocks that I made a few years back. They are decoupaged with um, dictionary pages, and I've done a couple videos where I've used dictionary pages for other things. So you know how much I love to use those, and those blocks are another good example. 
that's just different things that I made this year from Dollar Tree. There is the wreath. It changes seasonally. It has magnets for every season, and I think it's from Round Top Collection. All right, there's the vintage mantle set up. I decided to go with that one this year, but next year we'll probably go with the Poe one because I really liked that one too. And I will link that video to the end of this one so you can see the two different mantles. All right, coming around to the coffee table. I have this cute little guy, he is super cute. There's a little witch's shoe. So there it is one more time. We have the three-tiered tray on the sofa table, and I really want to paint that. That's got to be a project for this fall because I really want to paint that. It's such a funky color. It matched my other house, but not this one. There's a cute little mud pie candy dish, some Yankee Candle votive holders. That's basically how everything looks. There is a really cool picture on my TV. I'm gonna link that YouTube channel down below. It's a cool YouTube channel and you can just, it has a lot of seasonal um, sounds and pictures on it that you can just let run in the background if you have a party or something. I will link that down below. There's the mantle. I hope this home tour has given you some inspiration. Maybe you can take a few ideas away so that you can decorate your own home for Halloween. I thought that I would also give you a little look at how everything looks all lit up at night.
I think if you go through and look at the video from 2018 and 2019, you'll see that I use a lot of the same things. I don't buy new things every year. I just repurpose them and re change them around so that everything looks new and fresh every year. I hope this video gives you some inspiration for decorating your home for Halloween. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also tap the bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. And give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel.